Hey everyone, it's you Admiral here and welcome back to Aberration on the SOA Patreon server. Now as you can see, we are going to be talking about crabs. <laughs> no, not the disease. This is the Carcados. Now, I kind of recorded this backwards. This is actually the guy that we tamed and I will play some footage shortly of exactly how he did it, but I wanted to talk about him first. Now, obviously, he wasn't this color when we tamed him. Look how amazing he looks. <laughs> I actually ended up calling him Lou initially. Evo on the server suggested that name for me because he was actually initially the color of poop and pee. <laughs> and he reminded me of a toilet, so I called him the Lou. And basically Scotty painted him for me and that's why he looks fabulous now and that's why I have called him Elton. <laughs> but guys, these things are amazing. And here's the deal. On this server, I've actually had a chance to play around with all the new dinos on Aberration and I still end up using the crab the most out of everything. It's because they're so useful and actually kind of OP. <laughs> I'm just kind of waiting for the day that Wildcard nerfs them like they did the flyers. Shh, don't tell Wildcard. <laughs> so first of all, where do you find them on this map? You might be wondering. Basically, everywhere there's water, to be honest. In fact, they spawn right underneath our base in this river here. I've actually seen an alpha Carcinos here too, and if you kill them, you get tons of XP. And you get alpha Carcinos claws, which you actually need for the boss fight. So definitely try and kill as many of the low level alphas as you can find, guys. Now you have to be level 65 to make the saddle, you make it in the smithy and you need blue gems, fiber, fungal wood and hide and it takes 28 engram points so really not bad to be honest. However, these guys are kind of like the rock elementals, they can only be knocked out if you shoot them with a catapult turret or a cannon. Now you have to be level 31 to make a catapult and I think think what level do you have to be to make a cannon 34 they don't actually take too many resources to make except for a lot of metal and you can do this at a relatively low level which is awesome i would recommend however that you use a catapult and not this cannon over here because from what i've heard um i think you can one hit kill these guys with a cannonball if you miss and hit their legs instead of their body now, you want to tame them ideally with turtle kibble, which is why I have turtles in my dino pen right over here. However, if you don't have turtle kibble, spoiled meat works just as well, guys, and you don't lose any levels. It kind of just takes a bit longer to tame them with spoiled meat rather than kibble. But the good thing is you won't need narcotics, and guys, even if you don't have any spoiled meat, you can do this. If you have raw meat, you just have to right-click, split stack, split all, and they all separate out like this in your inventory which means they will all spoil in around five minutes isn't that amazing and then you have all the spoiled meat you could possibly want it's actually how we tamed our first crab and it's one of the newer ui changes i actually really really love so why don't we get started and i'll show you how we tamed elton here i recruited the help of one of the crab taming masters on the server <laughs> and he had a really interesting way of trapping them that i hadn't really seen before and i really just wanted to show you guys he built this triangular kind of trap which i thought was pretty cool now i kind of messed up my shots and ended up really hurting my crab but i will actually show you how you can heal your crab up if you do end up making the same mistakes i did i would however definitely recommend bringing a magnifying glass with you um let me see what do you need to make a magnifying glass so you need crystal fiber hide metal ingots obsidian wood and you can make it right in your inventory and this thing is really really useful when it comes to taming crabs in between shots you can actually stop and check them out like this and it shows you it shows you everything you need to know so it shows you the health on the bottom and torpor on the top and it kind of gives you a bit more of an idea if you're kind of hurting them too much or if they're close to passing out i'll be honest i haven't quite gotten the hang of it yet you want to always try and aim for their body and not their legs um i know that if you hit their body right they do this little dance move kind of like let me see kind of like their level up so let's just see what it looks like 
See how he's doing kind of like a little dance? It's something similar that happens when you hit them right. And also, if you have a dino or someone with you to kind of distract these guys, you can use them to aggro them and spin the crab around into a position that makes it easier for you to shoot at them. All right, welcome back, everyone. Now, I'm with a very special guest today. One of Rocky's patrons called D-Hunt is here to help me tame a 130 crab that we found. Now, we were chasing after a level 135, I think, for like the last hour. <laughs> is that right, D-Hunt? And we have no idea where it went, so we're just Gonna, we're just gonna try and settle for this 130. Now, Dehan and I had tamed two crabs in the past, and you've actually got a pretty cool way of trapping them. So he basically uses three dino gates. So if you guys find a crab like this, the best thing really to do, and there's no reason for you to go out to the bioluminescence to try and tame these things because the crabs spawn everywhere, right, Dehan? Like so, there's oh, yeah, like crabs. crabs everywhere. That, yeah, there's crabs that spawn like basically. Let me just kill this. Oh, I forgot you can pick. <laughs> I forgot that you can pick the sarcos up. That's so amazing. Oh yeah, it's uh, nothing better than beating something to death with a sarco. I know, <laughs> but yeah. So guys, there's no reason for you to come out here. But the reason that we are here is just because we found a 130, which is one of the highest ones on the server right now. Um, but like I said, there's crabs everywhere. Like right in the starter area, you can find them. So you don't have to do it in this dangerous place. But basically, what you need are dino gates. So this is what is this again? Yeah, these are just regular old metal. Uh... Metal gateways, metal dino gateways. Yeah, so you want to place them down like this with a gap in the middle. And what the gap does is, is basically enable you to shoot from here, right? Because that kind of gives you a very, very clear shot through here. And once you trap yeah. the crab through here, so what you want to do is aggro the crab that you're looking for, bring him over here, and he kind of gets stuck like this. You definitely don't even need two people to do this, but I just thought Dehan's idea was really cool. So you're here with me doing this today. So yeah, so you know what, Dehan, are you ready? Yeah, I'm going to get this guy to aggro me. I'm gonna turn around and bring him right over, so... <laughs> oh my god, I've never done this by myself. Come here, stupid. Should I, like, attack him or no? Um, you can give him a smack. Then, uh, yeah, he's because he's right behind you. <laughs> then just run him me. up to the gate, jump over it for okay. me, and I'll place this gate. Okay, and guys, you don't need a crab to tame a crab either. Like, you can do this on a Ravager. You can even do this on foot, because the crabs are actually not that fast. As long as you don't get caught in its claws. You can totally yeah. do this on foot. So I'm going to come over this way and we are going to just jump straight over like this. And hopefully, did we lose aggro? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is perfect. Okay, be Ow. careful. Oh, Let me go. <laughs> okay. Let me go. Are you okay? Hold <laughs> me down. All right, we're good. Okay, we're good? Okay. Like, this is really scary because of all the scary music right now. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you want to put down some pillars. So, these are five pillars, right, Tihan? Yeah, these are... I use the five highs, yeah. Okay. And then we have to put a ceiling over there. So, And then you want to put some ladders so you can get up there. And we are going to be using catapults today, right? Because I know you can use cannons, but those are a little bit dodgy. Because if you miss... Yes, don't use cannons. <laughs> yeah. uh, they will... They'll knock out a crab in one hit. But it will max your taming effectiveness at 67%. Oh, so really? So you will not get a lot of levels out of it. I didn't yes. even know that. Yeah, me and, uh, me and Ficus went knocking out a few crabs. Mm -hmm. Like, it was super easy, but you just you they won't give you a lot of levels out of it so it's better to just go ahead and do the catapult and also if you miss with the cannons there's a high chance of you killing them right because they do so much damage what is he what is he even attacking it's like he's attacking something but this is awesome he can't even get out look at him he's so uh, stupid i think he's attacking the gate he's kind of oh, mad is he? <laughs> okay so you want to build five high pillars and then you want to place some ladders down like this and obviously d hunt is being super fancy and using metal everything you don't need to use metal Wow, you just knocked me off the ladder, Dehan. <laughs> oh, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me get up here. So what you want to do is bring some metal ingots with you and some stone so you can make as many of the um, boulders on the run as you need to. And let me just go ahead and see what this looks like. I don't think I've ever made this before. So if you do this and you go into ammo, ah, I get you. So you can just make up. Okay. And it actually doesn't yep. take too long to make either. I wonder what they look like. <laughs> they just look like boulders. That's so cool. Yep. The only okay. thing is you can't shoot while the catapult is crafting more. So you oh, always want to okay. get them crafted first. Okay, okay, okay. So as long as you have the resources, as long as you have stone and metal, basically, you should be good to go. This thing looks so cool. <laughs> and our guy's still there. He's totally just chilling now. He's not even attacking or anything. He's just hanging out. <laughs> 
So welcome back guys. So what we've been doing in the last, I think five minutes or so, we've been crafting up about 27 boulders. I don't think it's going to take this many, as long as you don't miss too many times. And I was just saying this to Dehunt earlier, but there's two pointy things on the end of your um, catapult. Do not aim with the left pointy thing, because <laughs> that's what I got the mistake of the first time. And I kept aiming with that thing. And if you do that, obviously you're going to start hitting the crab, um, the crab's legs and stuff, and then you're going to hurt it. So what you want to do, and hopefully I don't miss too many times was that it was that a torpor hit d hunt because he's keeping an eye on it with a magnifying glass i'm not really sure it was not nope that was not either uh oh <laughs> okay hold on hold on i think its limbs are in the way i'm just gonna wait for it to kind of turn around so i get a better angle on this guy and hopefully that works okay that's perfect but it's getting down to about half health oh really yeah so what we can always do is uh, get its torpor up a little bit more, mm -hmm. uh, kind of walk off for a bit, come back, it should start aggroing again, okay, then we okay. can feed it and get its health back. Okay. Did I hit his body? No, that was a good. Torpor went up. That was too. Okay. You know what I'm figuring out is when it turns over this way, its limbs are kind of in the way, and if you hit it there... You're totally going to damage it rather than hit its body. So, Dehunt, if you can maybe aggro... Yeah, there we go. I wonder... Good. You can do about... I'd say about five more hits. This is tricky. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Are we good? Oh, yeah. Those are good hits. Okay. I think I've got the hang of it. So, what I was doing wrong before was I was kind of hitting its legs by accident. But it looks so bloody right now. Yeah, one more hit. Okay, do not shoot it again. Okay. Okay, so what we need to do now is just go ahead and get out of render distance mm -hmm. for about a minute or so. And when we come back, it should have reset its AI and it okay. should start attacking again. Okay. Then okay. we can just pick up something with the crab and feed it. Okay. So are we out of render right now? We should. I'm going to go check. Okay. See if it's been long enough for it to reset and, you know not be stupid <laughs> this snake is not doing any torpor to me at all crabs can only get torpor by concussion damage oh i forgot about that that's really cool yes. so you can just hold that's snakes like, in your hand then yep crabs can also be knocked out via tech saddles oh really like if you if you run up on a crab with a tech saddle mm -hmm. because the the blasts they do are mm -hmm. concussive you can okay. actually knock a crab out by shooting it with a rock drake. Wow. It's I a didn't waste of that. element, but you can do it. <laughs> oh crap, did I drop my guy again? Oh, I'm so derpy with this thing. <laughs> it's like the stuff I pick up is so small that I forget that I'm holding it and then I drop it. <laughs> but this is basically only really something that you can do if you happen to have another crab, right? Yeah. Yeah. Unless, like, like I said, unless you're close to a safer area and you can go pike some fish. But, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> I wouldn't recommend jumping into the water here. That would be terrible. Yeah, down here? Bad. <laughs> Alright, snake's bloody. Let's see what we can do here. Yep, the crab has gotten out. So perfect. Oh, that it is. It's going to be attacking. Okay. Yeah, it'll do that sometimes, but that'll mean it's going to start attacking. Okay. So I can get it fed, we can retrap it, and it should still have good torpor. Okay. Come here, stupid! <laughs> yeah, come attack. Come attack. Oh, it's going after me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you do not have to run, believe me. Like, okay. there's absolutely nothing that can kill that spino down here. <laughs> okay, okay. I forgot that your spinos are, like, super spinos. Should harvest that snake. Move up just a bit. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, there's this another snake right behind you, D-Hunt. Right oh, here. Right. See where I'm looking? Grab that as well. Uh, you do? Yes. Okay, come here. Eat it. Okay. Now just kind of bait it over that snake real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and look at that blood just going away. So I'm going to lead it around in like a, kind of like a circle. And I'll stand on the other end so it kind of grabs Perfect. me like this. There we go. Bam. Yay, we did it! Okay, okay. 
I'm so happy you have such yep. a tanky Spino. <laughs> oh, and she's the less tanky of the two. Like, she's only got 20,000 health. <laughs> Her amazing. mom's got 25. Okay, right. So, guys, just to bring you back up to speed on what's been going on here, um, I missed a couple of times oh, no. with that crap. Let me go. Oh, no. Oh, let me go. Let are me you go. okay? Ah. Oh crap. Sorry. <laughs> run, run, Dion! <laughs> <laughs> We're good. Whoa! We're good. <laughs> that was super close. So guys, so what happened was that because I missed a couple of times, I ended up hurting our crab. So we just kind of went away a little bit, not even that far. Like, I don't think we walked that far at all. And then we just killed a couple of small things like snakes and stuff. And then we kind of brought the dead bodies over. And you, need, you just need to allow the crab to basically eat the dead bodies. And it kind of heals up and yet keeps the torpor as well. But the problem with doing that is that sometimes if you leave the render, it can sometimes get out of the trap. So we had to retrap it. So that's kind of what's been going on. So this will work if you have like something super tanky like a spino or another crab or something big, you know, because you need to be able to kill other stuff in a hurry. So oh yeah, this crab, he's still, he's back to full health and still half torpor. So, oh yeah. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, you know what, the best thing really to do guys in this case is just to take your time. And that's what I kind of learned the hard way, like try not to rush your shots. Like if you have to wait a couple of seconds for it to turn around and give you the perfect shot, then oh. just do. Oh no! <laughs> Dion! Ah, this crab does not like me! Oh. <laughs> you're, you're getting so close to it. <laughs> okay. A couple more hits and they should be unconscious. Okay, hold on. No, I missed there. Is it was, I don't even oh, know. Oh no, that was a good one. That was a good that one. That was a good okay. one. Okay, you stand right one. there because it wants you. Okay, it's gonna spin around like a weirdo, and then you just want to let yep. it pause and just as long as you have a clear shot at its body, that's kind of what you want to do. That's where you want to shoot. Hold on, I'm just gonna wait for it to stop spinning. Uh, stop going around in circles. Okay, I don't know. Good if hit. I that was oh. a good hit. Oh, was it? Okay, okay. Yeah, that was. That wasn't, though. Okay. <laughs> that was my bad. <laughs> oh, good good hit. About two more good hits. You should be good conscious. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop spinning around, stupid. Yeah, the, <laughs> I honestly think the trick is just to take your time with this. You see, yeah, this is what I did is. wrong. Yeah, because this is where I did it wrong. So I thought I could hit over its legs like that, but just wait. Wait for it to stop spinning, and you should be able to get a good shot. And it's sleeping. And it's out! <laughs> yeah, we did it! Okay, so that really just kind of goes to show that you just need to take your time with this. You know, don't rush it, and it'll be just fine. So luckily enough, we have Kibble made up already. So this guy should tame up, and yeah, so we'll cut back in when he's tame, and hopefully nothing bad happens. I think we'll be fine, though. Oh, yeah, nothing aggro's him. Yeah, we have the world's tankiest Bino and this other crab, so I think we'll be good. <laughs> The only time that you want to just rapid fire is uh, sometimes when they glitch out and be stupid. Like, they'll mm -hmm. just stand in one spot. Oh, yeah. be like, and, and then if you can find a good hit, you can just hit, 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 Bash hit, them. you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But when yeah. they just want to keep rotating, yeah, they kind of... Yeah, they're just, just stupid. Just take your time. Yeah. And then uh, and if if you mess up, you know, you just do what we did there and you can just yeah. beat them up, get that their health really, back to really normal. Cool. And you know what? I'm glad that we kind of did mess up there because, you know, now we know how to fix it. Because I would not have known. If that was me and I yep. kept hitting it wrong, then I probably would have just ended up killing it and then, like, being sad for the rest of the day. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So, that's really all you have to do. Just go out of render distance, find it some stuff to feed it, and then just let it eat. And it actually, I thought you'd have to feed it tons of stuff. But we fed it, like, two things and it had, it had healed up. So, we're just going to sit around, wait here, make sure nothing else happens. But nothing else should aggro it except another spina or a crab you know so i think as long as you can kill those things or keep those things away you should be totally fine and oh it ate one how much did it tame up by i think it got like 23 percent from one kibble wow that stupid crab kept freaking grabbing me which was <laughs> an <laughs> you were, why did you go up so close to it though that's hilarious oh i wasn't i was like <laughs> underneath uh i was like underneath the pillar here and oh, it was really? just able to get close enough to me and it kept snatching you. me up. Yep. <laughs> How did you get away? I thought once it grabs you, it doesn't let go. Uh, it felt nice and wanted to play with me, I guess. <laughs> and let you go afterwards. Oh wow, your yeah. guy pooped. It's just it, it picked me up, slam, hit me, put me down. Pick me up, <laughs> slam me, put me down. 
See, for some reason, I thought when the crabs pick you up, they don't let you go until you're dead. You know, that's what I thought. But yeah, he just, I guess, I guess he just wanted to play with you. <laughs> oh, wow. This is so much faster than I was expecting, D-Hunt. Like, so much quicker. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Kibble, like, Kibble makes it go up real fast. Yeah. Five Kibble for a level 130. Damn. Oh, no. It tamed. Oh, my goodness. I was in the middle of checking the Dodo decks there. Oh, that's amazing. That took no time. Stop eating the Kibble. No, I actually didn't eat any of the extra Kibble. That's so cool. Guys, we have our own crab. <laughs> that's so awesome. So all you have to do now is take down the little trap that you made. And if you have S+, plus, you can just basically just pick them up with a demo gun, right? Yep. <laughs> that's awesome. Love me a demo gun. And it's easy peasy and you have your very own crab. That's so awesome. And like I was saying, you don't have to come into danger zone to tame these things. It's just that we found a level 130 here. So that's why I have Dihan with me as backup. But you can totally 100% do this solo. Like it's actually not difficult at all. So yeah. And they're so awesome. <laughs> your character looks so creepy. <laughs> oh yeah. I love making ugly characters in Lark. Because I remember what you looked like on Rag as well. You looked super creepy there. Like, <laughs> that's hilarious. But yeah, I love how your arms are super long as well. That's amazing. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, his mom was an orangutan. <laughs> but d -Hunt, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I learned a lot today and I know at least now if I mess up during a crab team, I know exactly what to do. Like, I wouldn't have known if it wasn't for you. So that's really, really awesome. So thank you so much. Hey, no problem. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. I hope you enjoyed that footage and you learned something from it. Now I thought we could go on a bit of a killing spree while I show you all the different things the crab can do. <laughs> First of all, my guy was pretty average in all of his stats before we tamed him, but he did get a 40% boost in his health after the tame, which is kind of cool. And I've actually pumped up some levels until he got to about 10k health. Now you might be wondering, what can you kill? with these things. Pretty much everything. <laughs> Killing other crabs is an amazing source of organic polymer and chitin, so kill all the stupid low levels you can find. Though just be careful not to get too close on foot, because as you saw with D-Hunt, they can pick you up, immobilize you, and slam you into the ground, but they cannot lift you up off of a carcinose or a spino, um, as you saw in my last episode. So if you have a spino, then you're pretty much golden. Come here, stupid! Die! Look at all that blue blood. <laughs> it's so weird how their blood is blue. <laughs> now they have several attacks. Left click hits with the left claw, like this. Right click hits with the right claw. And if you hit both of them at the same time, you do a double slam, which does double the damage. Now, as you probably already know, if you hold down left click or right click, you'll pick stuff up and pressing and holding it again drops it. So I can actually pick up this guy and then if I hit left click now, you're going to slam it until it dies. <laughs> Look how powerful this thing is. Now, my guy is still kind of a low level, so it's going to take a long time to kill this Dodi. And they're actually pretty tough. That was a level 90, but isn't that awesome? And another thing that you can do, say for example you found a stupid low level dodo and you hate it, you can just hit C and you'll throw it in the air. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I love this thing. I feel like we need to make a basketball court and like <laughs> try and throw dodos through hoops or something. That will be amazing. Now you can't pick up all dinos, obviously. I know that you can't pick up the trikes or the megalosaurus, but you can definitely pick up stegos. I mean, look how ridiculous this looks. I've got two stegos on my claws. And you know what's really funny? I can drop this guy and I can beat this stego to death with this other stego. I mean, this is crazy. Like, the, like what even <laughs> is happening right now? I wonder how long this is gonna take me to kill both of these guys. This is so weird. I'm beating a stego to death with a stego. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Now one cool thing is that if you are riding the crabs, for example, and you don't have your full hazard suit on, it's okay, you're not going to be hit by the spores of the hallucinogenic or the freezing mushrooms that can very easily kill you if you are on foot or on a mount like the Ravager, for example. Are you looking for trouble, stupid? <laughs> I feel like this parasite needs to die. Look how quickly we're killing this thing. Look at that! Okay. Granted, it was only a level 5, but still! <laughs> 
They are a little bit slow as you're walking around, but as you guys probably already saw, you can jump across huge distances. So you just hold down space and then you can aim. So see how you get crosshairs like that? So you can aim where you want to go and boom. Look how far they can jump. And the best part about this is that they take hardly any fall damage. Like, that was like nothing. <laughs> you're amazing. I don't think you'd ever have to pump up stamina or anything. They seem to have near endless stamina, which is surprising. But you know what? I'm not complaining. <laughs> now, if you go into the water, they actually sink right down to the bottom. So be careful if you're exploring underwater here, because if you're kind of just swimming around without scuba, you may not see other crabs that are kind of roaming around. And if they grab you under the water, you can totally drown. So just be careful. So what if you're underwater and you're kind of rapidly losing air and you don't have scuba and the shore is miles away? All you have to do is hit spacebar and it kind of just jumps straight upwards. It kind of just helps you get a breath of air. So isn't that cool? <laughs> But even if you are stuck in like super deep water, um, if you hit double space, they kind of do this double jump thing like this. Did you see that guys? So even if you are in a super deep hole underwater, you can actually just bash the double jump button and you can get yourself out, which is kind of awesome. And the other reason you want to use these guys for underwater exploration is because they do not have an oxygen stat. So grab some scuba and get under the water. The ocean is pretty much yours to explore. I mean, this is so cool. <laughs> There's no other dino that you can do this on, which I think is amazing. Now, they are immune to radiation, like the spinos, so you can take them down to the red zones without worrying about them dying. Now, another cool thing, you leave that Listro alone. Yep, you can totally pick up Sarkos, by the way. You can wield weapons on these guys. So, for example, I can just be sitting here and I can trank this guy. Let's see if I can get him. How amazing is that? So these things basically act as a mobile taming pen. So you can use them like this, which is awesome. So I can like totally bring this Sarko, for example, over up to my base where it's safe and just tame him right in my claws. And guys, I've actually tried this with passive tames as well. I've actually held a dung beetle in one claw while I passive tamed it. It was pretty amazing. Oh no, I'm sorry, Dodo. I didn't mean to kill you. <laughs> Oh no, look at this Ravager! Stop it! Stop attacking that Dodi! Now some dinos like Ravagers can still attack you while you hold them in their claws like this. So you just have to be a bit careful about stuff like this. Oh no, that Dodi wants some! What are you? Is that a raptor? Where is it? Where are you, stupid? <laughs> hold on, it's directly underneath me. Yeah, so as I was saying, look at this, guys. I've got a Ravager in one hand, a Raptor in the other hand. Um, yeah, so sometimes the Ravagers can still attack your guy while you're holding them like this. So even if you get down like this and you try and shoot them, see how they can still attack your guy. So if you're planning on taming Ravagers like this, I probably would pump up some health on your guy. See how they're attacking? I'm sorry, buddy. I just wanted to use you for a demonstration. <laughs> Die, stupid! <laughs> it's awesome. I love this dude. Now, the last thing I want to show you is something cool I wasn't actually aware of until quite recently. One of the patrons on here, Star, his base is at around 50, 80 um, in the bioluminescence, but kind of at the edge of the red zone. There is a ton of metal here, and actually a lot of the metal nodes on Aberration, by the way, um, look like these weird grey rocks with glowing blue stuff in them. So one day I helped him gather some metal up and I have here some footage of that. If you have an Anki with good melee damage and a friend to ride it, all you have to do is get on a crab, pick them up while they're riding the Anki, and then they just have to hit their attack button repeatedly and you can gather up a crazy amount of metal. And the best thing about it is that you won't stop picking up resources even if your Anki is overburdened. Like even though this Anki had a weight limit of under 500, we managed to collect almost, I think, 75,000 with it. <laughs> um, of course, they will be so overburdened and you won't be able to move, but the Karkinos can just pick them up and carry them right up to other metal nodes or even throw them at nodes, which is kind of a lot of fun. <laughs> Though, don't throw too high because you can hurt the Anki if you've got a rider on it. Just make sure you are in full hazard gear to avoid spores from the death mushrooms and bring a light pet with you so nameless don't spawn and you're going to be just fine, trust me. 
So in this way we were able to gather I think around 150,000 metal <laughs> and 70,000 stone as well as crystal, obsidian and flint before we reach the maximum number of full stacks you can actually place on the Anki. But my goodness guys, you will never need metal ever again if you have a friend to do this with. So if you have a good Anki and access to metal, this is something amazing that you can do with the crab. Now you can also gather things solo with dinos that you can enable auto harvesting on like doties or moss chops. You just have to pick them up, go up to things and they will automatically harvest them. However, the regular weight limit applies to them I think so basically nothing works quite as well as gathering more metal than you could ever possibly need <laughs> on an Anki with a friend. So as you can see these guys are honestly quite amazing and i love that you don't even have to wait until end game before you have to tame them like you can tame them up super early in your game which is amazing the only thing i'm kind of sad about is the fact that you cannot breed them even though they have genders like this guy is a male i think yeah this guy is a male however if you have the s plus mutator with their recent update i know that you can breed dinos that you couldn't previously breed so stuff like the carcinos and the reaper and stuff um we do have that setting turned off on the server right now but it's definitely something you could look into if you have a soft spot for the crabs like I do and you want to see some mutated babies, wouldn't that be awesome? So guys, yeah, so use the mutator if you really want to breed up these guys because I would love to see some crab babies. <laughs> But there you go, that is the Karkinos for you, which I think is definitely the most useful creature on Aberration. I love them, they've made taming and exploration so much easier on here, especially because there's no flyers on Aberration. They kind of remind me of Quetzals, but a lot more OP. <laughs> But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you subscribe for more. And like I said, show Rocky and Wombat's Patreon some love and come hang out with us on the server. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you and until next time, Admiral out. Bye.